On to race number eight then, and the eighth on the program, class four, 1400 metres uh, is the trip. Headed by Angel of My Eyes, who was beaten first up by Leap of Faith. Good run all the same in second place. Uh, Carefree Prince will roll forward from barrier number eight as he returns. Some Street somewhere beaten favourite on his two starts so far this season at 10 pounds off his back. Courtesy of Jerry Chow. Mighty Powers behind Seaweed Fortune, I should have mentioned. It was uh, a course and distance winner first up. Mighty Power finishing third behind him. Superkin fourth as favourite on the all weather. Comes up in trip, switch of uh, surface and my family was behind Siwi Fortune uh, first up. It's beaten five and three quarter lengths. Uh, Speed-wise, as a regular Tom, Carefree Prince. Yeah, Alfie Chan has a good association with the Carefree Prince. He might get his own way in the front and he can be dangerous when that does happen. Uh, Lucky Turbo's got some speed as too does Angel of My Eyes who led last time out. He's drawn gate five for Zach Purden. Mighty Power I think should be able to uh, get a little bit further forward this time round because he's drawn nine instead of 13. And you've got some street somewhere who's got gate number one with a £10 claim. Could be awkward for Hang's decision. Karis Teton might have to go back and take a sit on him. Natural improvement, Angel of my eyes. He's had that one start and he has shown that natural improvement. He moves nicely down the back straight here. Uh, Zach Purton sticking with the ship here. Uh, 133 he's got to carry, but from barrier five he'll get his opportunity. Seaweed Fortune, now uh, he won nicely. He was a lot of money on him too when he did win. And look, he looks in good order here. Vincent Hoaboard. Uh, 800 metres for him as he comes down as Seaweed Fortune and Mighty Power, another one that went really well behind Seaweed Fortune. Just looked a little bit green in that run but hasn't shown any of that in the track work and uh, he'd worked really well leading into the race as well so I expect him to be a major player as well. Alright, back to him again in a moment. Let's start off with Angel of My Eyes. Wasn't favourites um, as he returned, was short enough uh, in the market here behind uh, Leap of Faith when he, was, he raced prominently, Tom, but run down. Yeah, he, he led in that race. He had a little bit of company to his outside, uh, but they didn't really put too much pressure on him. I thought he had every chance really last time out, uh, Angel of My Eyes, but he's uh, a different uh, player in a, in a race like this because he does have some ability. We saw that uh, when he won last season over Hero Star. That was a, a pretty easy win. So I'm expecting him to be able to bounce back here, Paul, second up. Yeah, me too. And I, I just thought that the first four all ran really well in that race. And this looks like quite a strong form race he's come out of. All right. Um, Hank's decision in some streets somewhere. Uh, we're in that race as well. They're also in uh, this race um, too, Karis Teton. Jerry Chow's the interesting booking here, Paul, taking £10 off his back. Yeah, I thought he had his chances in both his starts this season. He's gone out favourite both times, so he's been very costly. Has some streets somewhere, and he just battled on here. Uh, Hang's decision, look, he's just defying his age, isn't he? He's a nine-year-old now and he does everything right. He stuck on well here, Hang's decision. It's just gate number 11 again. He's had a bit of a bad run with the draws. He ran well from a, a good gate last time out. And uh, prior to that, his first up effort wasn't too bad from a, a wide stall. It's just the, the gate that sort of turned me off Hang's decision this time round. But I'm going to give some street somewhere another chance on a, a minor line with that £10 claim. Drawn gate number one. He should get all favours, really. But in saying that, he has had that in his last couple. OK. Seaweed Fortune. Didn't look a fluke about um, this, uh, Paul. Mighty Power and uh, my family are the ones to consider. Yeah, I thought Mighty Power about here was just going to run away with this race. He just ran around a little bit uh, with that experience under his belt here with that run this season. I think he, he's probably the big improver of this race. Seaweed Fortune, no, he did nothing wrong. But about here, you just expected Mighty Power to win. And he just looked a little bit green and looking around a little bit. But... Um, Look, a, a nice run from, from both those two horses, I thought. Yeah, I've got Mighty Power, and I, I didn't include Seaweed Fortune first up, and I'm not going to this time round, but I, I did like the run of Mighty Power. He's my idea of the queue for the race. All right. All weather form we can have a look at here. Super Kin. Now, he was favourite for this, but um, looked outpaced for, for most of the way, Tom, but stuck on all right in the closing stages. Yeah, he, he took a wee while to wind up. You look here and you thought it's he's... has gone, isn't he? Yeah, flat to the boards, just going nowhere, going backwards. Um, but he found a little bit late uh, with uh, Zach Purton on board. He hung out a little bit round the, the turn as well. He had to the head to one side. But just late here... He was doing his best work. So the trip up to 1,400 metres, he very much looks like there, Paul, a bit of a one-batter, though. Yeah, 1,400 metres looks ideal, doesn't it? And uh, I think on the, back on the turf is going to be a good thing for him as well. Plotting paper is down on the rail there, finishing second. Absolutely hosed up on the weekend. Uh, Vigor Champ, uh, Paul, the last one that we have a look at. What about him? Yeah, look, it wasn't a bad run here behind Winston's lad. Again, he's drawn wide, and I think he's going to have to get back. So that w that's what put me off uh, with the barrier draw and where he's going to be in the run for Vigor Champ. Did win at the back end of last season, up to 1,400 metres. Does look positive for him. He came off heels at the 300 in this uh, run, and he was making a, a little bit of ground sort of over the last uh, 200 metres or so. Wasn't beaten overly far, three and three quarters that margin in the end, but uh, didn't manage to put him in.
All right. Did we see the winner amongst all of those, Paul? Yeah, we did, I think, uh, which is uh, Angel in my eyes. I'm going to stick with him. Uh, he said that run under his belt now. Did uh, win second up last season as well. So he's on top to beat Mighty Power. I think that's the Quinella, those two. Uh, Angel Myers and Mighty Power. So uh, one to beat six. He's come on, I think, from that uh, run. And it was a nice uh, nice run from him on uh, seasonal debut. And for the new stable, David Hayes. Superkin and some street somewhere. So one, six, nine and four. Same four numbers again, but uh, the bottom two in a, a slightly different uh, order. But Angel Myers, I think, can win this. It just has to uh, like the £133, but uh, did win second up. Uh, we saw last season, here he is second up, Zach Purton for uh, Danny Shum. Uh, six goes in, Mighty Power. His uh, first uh, seasonal debut run I thought was very good. He fought on well. Some street somewhere on a minor line and also super kin. One, six, four and nine. All right, similar from me. Interesting, you both left out Seaweed Fortune. I've got him in. I thought it was quite a smart win. But uh, there you go, that's race number eight. Two more races uh, to go for us. Race number nine, 1,400 metre class three. That's next.